My dear students, in the earlier classes, we have come to know what teaching aid is. Today, let us try to discuss on some of the selected teaching aids. Introduction. Teaches for effective communication with his student in the most interesting and useful way, resort to certain aids, generally known as teaching aids, in the field of teaching learning process. If used effectively, they are information carrier and can promote and encourage learning in teaching learning activity. They may be classified as audio aids, visual aids, audiovisual aids, and activity aids like I have mentioned in the earlier classes. To cause a meaningful learning in the student by engaging the learner to actively participate in the educative process, the teachers need to be well versed with the broad classification of teaching aids and possess desirable skill for teaching aid preparation and should be very judicious in selecting the most appropriate teaching aid to be used for imparting particular lesson such that teaching aids will render great help in enabling the teachers to achieve the instructional objectives. Now, let us elaborate on some of the different teaching aids. Chalkboard. It is a simple, non-projected and universally used visual teaching aids, which comprises of a board and a chalk piece. The advantages for effective use of chalkboard are Number one, it serves as a mirror through which students will visualize all about the teacher's mind regarding the lesson in hand, his way of explaining, illustrating, and, teacher, and teaching. Number two, pupil interest in classwork can be stimulated by skillful and creative use of chalkboard writings and drawings. Number three, it is economical and can be used over and again. Now I would like to put some suggestions for effective use of chalkboard. Number one, chalkboard should be kept clean so that writing on it could be legible and easily read by the students from all parts of the room. Number two, writing should be started from the top left corner and extreme lower corner of the chalkboard should not be made use of as writing on it cannot be seen easily. Number three, only saline points of the subject matter should be written on the chalkboard. Number four, teachers should develop the ability to draw freely on the chalkboard. Number five, it should be ensured that the chalkboard is periodically serviced. Next, we have charts. A chart is a non-projected visual teaching aid with diagrammatic representation of a system, process, and historical sequence of event. It is a combination of pictorial, graphic, numerical, or vertical material designed for the orderly and logical visualizing of relationship between key facts and ideas. It is used in all subjects for concept formation and development and learners. And here are the advantages for effective use of charts. Number one, it facilitates the teacher task in presenting and displaying information in the classroom interaction. Number two, it helps to show the relationship by means of facts and figures. Number three, it helps to show continuity in a process. Then we have number four, it helps in presenting the material symbolically. Then chart also helps in showing the development structure. The suggestion for effective use of charts are number one, 
teachers' math charts should be preferred and students should be involved in the preparation of charts. Number two, charts should display information about one specific area in a subject. Then we have number three, when a chart is to be used in the classroom, the teacher should make sure that there is provision for hanging the chart at a vantage point. Number four, the teacher should have a pointer to point out specific factors in the chart. The next teaching aid is model. Models are non-projected three-dimensional visual aids with recognizable imitation of real things or abstract things. Usually, a model is similar to the original object in every aspect except the size. The size of an object may be reduced or enlarged. The advantage for effective use of models are number one, they are the replicas of real objects. Therefore, they capture the attention of the learners and are best learning motivators. Number two, Models simplifies difficult concepts, process, or complex situations by focusing on essential features only and eliminating complex details which may hinder in understanding the concept. Number three, a working model explains the various processes of objects and machines. The suggestion for effective use of models are number one, Models should be large enough to be seen easily by everyone in the class. Number two, models may be supplemented with other teaching learning materials like chart to help learners to understand the relationship. If it is a working model, a teacher should check before use in class. Next point is learners should be allowed to touch the model and feel it for effective learning. Then we have fifth point, two colors should be used in models for realistic learning, as it also makes the model more eye-catching. The next teaching aid is slide projectors. Slides projector is a projected visual teaching device by which photographic slides of relevant matter meant for teaching in the class can be developed and can be displayed by projecting on the screen or the wall before the class. The advantages for effective use of slide projectors are number one, it helps in the longer retention of the material thought. Number two, it captures the attention of the learner and arose the spirit of readiness to learn the day's lesson. Number three, it assists the lesson development and also facilitate student-teacher interaction. Number four, they can be easily used for small as well as large audience. Suggestion for effective use of slide projector are number one, the content should be accurate and according to the level of the learner. Number two, the text in the slide must be legible. Number three, the slide should be comprehensible to learners. And for this, teachers should use one line per point and use brief phrases. You can elaborate in it during classroom teaching. The teacher can also use one slide per minute and if you are running, two. Teachers should not cram everything on the slide. The next teaching aid is overhead projector. Overhead projector is a simple audio-visual projecting device that can project a chart, a diagram, a map, a table, or anything written on transparent plates upon a screen or the white wall before students in a class. The name comes from the fact that the projected image is behind and over the head of the speaker. Advantage for effective use of overhead projector are number one, it makes teaching learning activity more illuminative, illustrative, illustrative and impressive. Number two, it helps in capturing the attention of the learners. Number three, it also helps in saving 
a great deal of the teacher's time used in drawing or writing. Number four, these transparencies can also be preserved by the teachers for future display while taking up the same topic. Suggestion for effective use of overhead projector. Number one, the teachers should preferably use bold, strong colors like black, red, blue, and green for slides preparation as they provide good contrast on transparent seats. Number two, preferably eight lines should be written per transparency and eight words per line. This makes it readable with the naked eye from two meters, enabling students sitting at the back to read it clearly. Number three, ensure that all students can see the whole screen. Larger the screen use, better is the projection showing the details. Number four, while teaching, progressive disclosure of the slides should be used. The transparency is totally covered with paper you reveal the portion being discussed in class progressively as the classroom teaching proceeds. This helps the learner in concentrating on the topic being discussed and keeps alive the curiosity about the next point to be discussed. Number five, you should face the class while explaining a concept with help of overhead projector slide. The presentation speed should be controlled. Then we have the last point that is, use pointer to focus on a point being discussed. The next teaching aid is motion pictures. Motion picture is a traditional projected audio-visual teaching aids that poses all the advantages inherent in projected still pictures plus this significant feature of motion. The advantages for effective use of motion picture are number one, they draw the attention of the student. Number two, they can be used to show a record of an event. Number three, they can serve a large class at a time. Number four, they provide a good aesthetic experience. Number five, they help learner in understanding relationship between things, ideas, and events. The suggestion for effective use of motion pictures are, number one, teachers should highlight the purpose and value of motion picture be prior to sewing. Number two, teachers should also ask students to make a note of concepts they do not understand for clarification after the sewing of the motion picture. Then we have the last teaching aid that is self-experiment. Self-experiment is an activity teaching aid in which the student learn by engaging in some useful activities. This aid facilitates learning through sight and sound as well as through doing. The advantages for effective use of self-experiment are number one, active participation of students during the process of learning as it ignites the curiosity to find out answer to the question of the experiment. Number two, students they collect and interpret their observation during their experiment using some instrument to reach a conclusion, thereby build self-confidence in the learners. Number three, it makes the learners not a passive recipient of information, rather an active constructor of his own knowledge. The suggestion for effective use of self-experiment are, number one, teachers should act as a facilitator of the experiment. Number two, students should be aware about the following points, that is, objectives of the experiment, the apparatus required, procedure or methodology to be adopted, precautions to be taken up, and conclusion to be drawn. So my dear student, we can conclude our today's lesson by saying that teaching aid is an important teaching learning material. The variety of teaching aid discussed today will serve instrumental in enabling the teacher to realize the instructional objective of a teaching learning process. If only when the teacher is well versed with the principle of selection, the principle of preparation, the principle of presentation, 
the principle of physical control of the teaching aids relevant to the classroom instruction. Therefore, a good teacher always is more proficient than a mere teacher in her ability to decide the use of right teaching aid at the right place at the right time. Thank you.